Today, more people from our area who were involved in the riot were in court. Some facing charges for their involvement, and others face charges for new alleged threats. CBS 2's Alice Gaynor live at Brooklyn Federal Court right now with the latest. Alice. A man from Middle Village, Queens, faced a judge virtually this afternoon after federal agents found lots of ammunition inside his home. Now, the judge denied bail, saying that this man poses a significant threat to the community, citing several online threatening posts. 40-year-old Edward Floria, a married father of two, is charged with being a convicted felon in possession of ammunition. The FBI found over 1,000 rounds of rifle ammunition, two dozen shotgun rounds, about 75 military-style combat knives, hatchets and swords, but no guns. He was convicted in 2014 for illegal weapons. The software engineer told the FBI he's a supporter of the Proud Boys. In denying bail, the judge referenced online posts Floria made during, after, and before the Capitol riot, saying it reflects a premeditated plan to exact violence against people in New York and people in Washington against United States senators. In court in White Plains today, Metro North employee Will Pepe, seen in this picture inside the Capitol. Pepe called out sick last Wednesday and was suspended. We had uh, stormed into the, the chambers inside. 28-year-old Thomas Baranyi of New Jersey, seen in this television interview, was in court in Newark. He described being next to a woman who was killed. They shot her in the neck. He is charged with disorderly conduct. And when it comes to making these arrests, CBS News has learned that a recent FBI bulletin warns agencies to use caution and consider the use of SWAT, especially when taking into custody people who wore body armor at the Capitol, using this photo as an example of the arsenal found in one suspect's home. Accused of inciting last week's riot, the president issued a statement this afternoon that reads in part, In light of reports of more demonstrations, I urge that there must be no violence, no lawbreaking, and no vandalism of any kind. There are also new allegations that some members of Congress aided in the Capitol breach. Those members of Congress who had groups coming through the Capitol that I saw on January 5th, a reconnaissance for the next day. New Jersey Democratic Congresswoman Mikey Sherrill and more than 30 members of Congress have signed a letter requesting an investigation, saying the tours they saw were so suspicious and concerning they were reported that day, January 5th, to the sergeant at arms. This is unusual for several reasons, including the fact that access to the Capitol complex has been restricted since public tours ended in March of last year due to the pandemic. We reached out to Congresswoman Cheryl for more information, but have not yet heard back. Live outside of Brooklyn Federal Court, Alice Gaynor, CBS 2 News. Alice, thank you.